Welcome to Robotics for All's online Tinkercad curriculum. This is week one of an eight week course, and we are really, really excited to have you as a student during this class. We hope you're going to learn a lot. We hope you're going to have a lot of fun, and we hope this will be a, a really great next eight weeks. So we are going to start by opening up an internet browser. This could be Google Chrome, this could be Safari, this could be Internet Explorer, whatever it is, it can be any internet browser, just go on to it and then enter this website, tinkercad.com. Just like how I spelled it right there. And if you need to get a chance to get it, get it you can just pause the video. So enter. And now this is Tinkercad. This is going to be the website that we're going to be using for the next eight weeks to learn everything about Autodesk Tinkercad. So if this is your first time joining class, click join now. And you are a student, you're not an educator. So click students, join a class. And I know this is not school, but this is an online class. So here we are in school right now. So hit students, join a class enter your class code. This is the class code that you'll either find in your email, emailed by your teacher, or you'll be finding this code in Google Classroom. So I'm going to enter one as a sample. Yours is going to be different. So enter whatever class code your teacher has given you, not this one. It should be 12 digits and letters long. I'll click go to my class. And it will take a little bit for it to load. And then you're going to be entering your nickname. And this is also going to be provided by your teacher, not your own nickname. It's going to be a nickname that is provided by your teacher. Now, as a sample, my name is not John Doe, but this is just a sample. This is the sample nickname that is given to me. So click that's me. And then welcome. Here you are in the class. So this is only the first time you have to do that. But any other time you're going to have to do that, I'll show you the process. So I'm going to log out here first. Do log out. You saw what I did. I just clicked on the thing right here. Click log out. Now, in future times, you're just going to click sign in because you've already joined. There's no need to join anymore. So future times, let's say this is week two and I'm logging in again to Tinkercad. I'm going to hit sign in. I'm going to hit students join my class. I'm going to enter that class code again. So be sure to keep that class code handy so that any time you need to enter this again it's very easy it's right there so you don't have to keep on memorizing that because i know that that's a pretty long thing to memorize so just write these down and you keep it by your computer keep it by your desk wherever you work the most that's probably the best the best place okay we're back to where we are so you can see the process you have to enter the class code and your username your nickname again so here we are let's familiarize ourselves with the tinkercad software Tinkercad is a software in which you can design and create various different things. So I can show you in the gallery, that there are a lot of really cool things that you can do in Tinkercad. Everything you see here are things that people designed. You can see some of them are really fancy. Some of them are really complex. So what's the purpose of all this? Why, why does Tinkercad exist? Well, Tinkercad is a software for us for us to design things so when we're engineering a new part when we're making a new part we can use tinkercad we can design the part in tinkercad because everything around you all the objects around you like cups like the electronic devices they've all been designed they all come with multiple parts that are all designed and that's how we use tinkercad we use tinkercad to make these parts and later on we can 3d print something and Throughout these eight weeks, you're going to be designing and creating a variety of new things. Everything you'll be doing is going to be on this Tinkercad website. So let's go back to where we were before, back at my profile. And here you will view your 3D designs. I have not created anything yet, so I have nothing right here. But once you create designs, they'll be right here. So we will not be interacting with the circuits tab we don't need to worry about that we will not be interacting with the lesson tab the code blocks tab will be interacting with a little bit later on in the curriculum but don't touch it until we ask you to right now we're just going to be working around the 3d designs 
So we're going to start it off a little bit easier today, and we're going to modify someone else's project. In later weeks, you're going to be designing your own really, really cool creation. So, but today, we're just going to be looking at someone else's design, and we're going to be kind of tinkering it around, no pun intended. We're going to be tinkering around with it and, and, and seeing different things with this um, project that we can do and how we can, you know, make this better. So go into gallery and I want you to search the model S model 75. And if your teacher told you to do that, do that. But your teacher might have also told you to search something else. So please listen to them when you do that. And also, if this wasn't clear already, I want you to follow along as I do this. So as I was creating an account, I want you to do that. Everything I'm doing here, I want you to have another tab open on your whatever device it is and, and just be following along so that when it comes to the class time, when you have your teacher who's there who's going to be live and answering your questions, they're already all there. So we're going to click search. And here it is, S model 75. So now we're going to click copy and tinker. So what this is going to do is that it's going to create a model of this design and it will allow us to do things and, and modify it. Now you can see this is the Tinkercad workspace. So it's still loading a little bit. So in the meantime, we'll basically talk to you about Kind of how this workspace kind of looks like well first things first everything in here automatically saves so that's really nice because every time we do something we don't have to worry about you know our computer crashing or something happening like that and then we won't be able to save it that way so we want to make sure that it's automatically saved so that that's a really nice feature so let's try to familiarize ourselves a little bit around it there so it's here's the the name of it right now it's copies as model seven. We can also change it. Why don't we call it cool plane? You can change it to whatever you want. That's how we change the name. And here we can move around. You can see if you can click on the corners over here, or you can just click on top. And that's kind of more of a 2D view right there. Click on the side. So this is a 3D view. You can get a completely 3D view of this entire thing click on home it brings us to the home view which is exactly this view right here and yeah that's that's how we navigate we can use our plus tool we can zoom in we can zoom out and this is corner perspective view and this is a view like that so do whatever you prefer whatever is easiest for you so let's try moderate flying around this and I don't want to give you too many use in that I really want you to try to experiment around with everything we have here. I think part, part of the day is just to really have fun and kind of look at this thing and say, how can we kind of play around in this, this and kind of do this. So one thing I'll show you how to do is, is to change the color. So right now, let's say you don't like the color red. Maybe we can make that blue. And then we, why don't we also make the other wing blue? Say we want a part to be transparent. How about, hmm. How about we say this piece right there? That means that's going to be transparent. There's nothing in it. You can see the, whoops, you can see the block is clear. So that's one thing we can do right there. And so we can keep you know, playing around with this. We can select multiple. Um, you'll you'll see that how we do it later. But what I want you to do right now, I just want you to try and and, and see some things that you can do here to kind of modify this and the goal of today is to kind of just learn by doing kind of learn by figuring out things and, and, and getting with this stuff here and you can if you want you can try to add some basic shapes to this if you want um that's really up to you but what this week's lesson is just to be like familiarize yourself with all this stuff and then we'll learn how to do you know more complex things and you know how to merge objects together it's up to you but today, just kind of play around with it and see what you can figure out. I really don't want to rob you of your creativity by figuring out how to do these things. So I really not going to do much more today. Your teacher can explain more things, but just kind of use these arrows, see what everything does here. Just kind of familiarize yourself with this whole platform here and have fun. And we'll see you in the next class. So to get back to home, 
I'm going to click on the Tinkercad logo here in the upper right. And you can see here it's saving my work first before it will go. Now here's my design. Earlier we saw no designs here, but now there's a design here. So with each design, it's all going to be right here. It's very convenient. Very nice. Hope you enjoyed this first day of Robotics for All's online CAD curriculum. And we look forward to seeing you in class and in the next videos. Thank you and have a great day.